Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Wes. And I'm Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I do that. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know who we are by now. Welcome if you're new, okay. maybe. Okay, so this is the day two of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Did I say that right? Close, Herzegovina. Felicia is really good at pronouncing them. Okay, this place is like magical town, but I'm going to let Felicia tell you about it. We just got to Blagai, so we took a short bus ride. Uh, we'll write more info if you guys want to make this day trip on your own without a tour. But we're in Blagai, and all we really know is that the pictures here are beautiful. So we can hear the water, we're walking towards it, and we're about to find out about Blagai. So here, maybe we'll show you a picture we found on the internet of what it looks like in the summer. So we're, we're, we're kind of like, is it going to look good? Is it going to look good? So follow us and let's go. You guys hear the fabulous news? We are, okay, so we've been celebrities here for like a couple weeks now. Interviews, um, newspapers, TV. Okay, so next, we did it. We're making it on the radio. A Hungarian, the national Hungarian radio station is interviewing us for like some festival that's going on in a few weeks. Crazy. Who's a good little puppy? Who's a good little puppy, huh? Who is that you? We made a new little friend, didn't we? Hey, where are you going? Okay, so we're in front of the monastery, right, Phil? Okay, we're in front of the monastery. And like, I want you guys to appreciate how big the mountain is behind us. Like, it might not look big, okay. So here's the water. And the top of the mountain, it's huge. Like, it's like enormous. So apparently this is the source of the river Buna and the water comes down from a cliff like 200 meters. There's like a spring I guess and that's where the water comes from and it's so fast like if you drop something you're not going to be able to catch it here but it's really clear and we're trying to find the spot where you can like you can actually drink the water from here so we can fill up our water bottles. It's funny because like I'm filming Felicia say that and then she says something like, no way. Like, I didn't even know what she's about to say. <laughs> I didn't know there's a spring that comes. I just tell him what time he has to be ready for, what time the bus comes, <laughs> and he just comes for the ride. Yeah, it's good, it's nice. But like, okay, look at this. Like, we're on the ground and the water from like the river is like so close. Like, it looks like it could overflow. It, it feels like regular water you'd find in your, in, from the tap. It doesn't feel dirty or like grimy, you know, that weird like slime feeling. And we did it. Oh my God, okay, fuck, I didn't even notice this. This house here, has a ladder above it and you can actually go into that cave. You can go into that cave. We made it to like the best views that we've seen in the photos and it really feels so surreal to actually be in this spot. Right across from us is a dervish house that hopefully we'll be able to go inside. And apparently in the summer you can take a boat ride right into that cave. But there's nobody with boats here right now. But it's just really cool. I was worried because it's a little bit cloudy. I didn't think it would look as good, but it's beautiful. What happened, Phil? My heart is like racing. I was taking a photo of Wes, and out of nowhere, like a rock falls from way up high, and it's like so loud, and the rock cracks in half. And I didn't know what it was at first. I thought like a bird pooped. That's what I thought it was. But like, 
Oh my god, it was like two feet away. And I'm scared to look up now. <sighs> Which rock is it, Phil? Oh, it's this one. I think it's that one. It was this rock here, but it broke in half. So it must have been bigger. I think that would have hurt. Yeah, like right in half. Holy sh... Like, okay, I told you guys they have a ladder here, above the house. But like right up here, they have like steps. Like I think someone, people actually like climb in here. Like if you, the slit, if you can see it, where the hell is this? This slit goes, this slit goes all the way up. So I wonder if like people do like rock climbing things in there. Or, like cave exploration. That'd be kind of cool, eh, Phil? Phil doesn't like rocks anymore though. I'm like worried, like you never, you, you always see those signs like loose rocks, like you know those construction yeah, signs? Yeah. But you never think something's gonna fall. Jeez, I'm awake now. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. Uh, Everything's gonna be okay. Okay, we're on the other side now and we're walking into the monastery. But it's a mo house. is it a mosque? A, what no, is it? a dervish house. A dervish house. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but we're reading. Great religious importance. Great religious importance. So due to its historical importance, it is known worldwide as Tequilla at the source of the Buna River. Or the Tequilla in Blagai. When you're coming inside, the women have to wear a headscarf. And you can't wear your shoes. Oh, you got slippers. I think they have slippers. Uh, I'm guessing we're in the prayer rooms. Because, like, the floor is, like, rugs on it. Doesn't this look funny? It's I've never seen it. I've never seen you like this. I feel cozy. Cozy. Like you're about to snuggle up and watch a movie. It's a popcorn. We're in, like, um, what appears to be the tea and coffee room, the chilling room. It smells kind of, actually smells kind of nice in here. Am I surprised? I don't know. We came here knowing mainly about the river and the waterfalls and the views, but I didn't actually know you could come inside the dervish house. And it's four marks to get in, so two euro, but a really cool experience. And I got this pretty headscarf. It's been a really fun and easy day trip from Mostar. back but there is also a fortress here in Blagai and apparently it's about like at least an hour maybe two hours of a hike straight uphill so we're gonna pass on that today we've seen quite a few fortresses already but you can kind of see it from here oh my god we found cats again Phil do you think it's about time we transition our vlogs into just us hunting cats not hunting to kill but just we just take videos of cats. Oh, Jesus. Fucking dog l licked my fingers. <laughs> a weird sensation. <laughs> so, no, I don't think it's time. That's my answer. We're gonna go. We're, oh, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> you turned off blushing. <laughs> it was just like a little tongue on my finger. The owner of our guest house gave us a free postcard and we are going to send it to one of you guys. And since you always make us laugh in the comments, we thought whoever makes us laugh the hardest will get a postcard <laughs> from Mostar. You're allowed to make fun of me in this one, if it means making us laugh. How do we judge? We just have to come to a mutual decision. We'll record our laughs. <laughs> For a postcard. And it says here, travel is the only thing you buy that makes you richer. We're on the bus and we must go. Um, tomorrow though, we just figured it out. We're going to the capital of this country, Sarajevo. So we'll see you guys in Sarajevo. Adios, amigos. Havala, and thank you.
I really like this dog, but he smells like a homeless person. Hi, bear. Hi. Dogs like when you say that. Hi. Look at his tail wag. Oh, jeez. Hi, look, he's so happy, aren't you?